went to the governor's island in uh, New York. It's kind of dry and empty place, but uh, wide and open. Nice parks, um, but boring. But the kids had um, fun, so it was okay. Family went. I am um, going through special days in uh, in my life coming into very deep uh, understandings and like a few days before Shabbat the tour that we had to Buffalo and the way back to to Mons in New York was kind of uh, challenging but like you know I I'm just sharing with you my thoughts I know deep inside of me and it's very clear and I remember it all like what brought me to do what that I'm doing and in, in that direction that I'm going what is leading me and, and based on what I'm continuing and doing what that I do but like sometimes the war is so hard and uh, and because of the war, because of the challenges, because of the difficulties, you like lose track. You you forget sometimes where you are and 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 what are you doing. Even if you're all committed to it and you're totally in it, still sometimes this thing is not comfortable. Let me tell you that. So sometimes you like even for a person that is uh, like his level of awareness to himself is very high so even if he is losing his level like falling from his level from his awareness to himself like even in 2% even in 7% so for him it's a disaster like the the confusion and feeling of loss and like but we're experiencing everything in our minds like my wife and I were talking about it all the time and like it's an inner war and like when you lose your mind when you lose track when when you find yourself like in in those struggles so you start thinking that you need to find a way and that you have issues and that you have problems but the truth is that that it's all in your mind it's it's all inside of your own box and and the last Shabbat I I had some hours that were very challenging or were not so so easy but I uh, bravely chose to to continue and to push to push through um, and not to give up to to the challenges and to the mind difficulties mind blowing difficulties and I opened the book of Likute Moran of Rabbi Nachon of Breslev and over there it was written that Rabenu is saying that even righteous people, Hasidim, are falling to that mistake to think that they're falling from serving Hashem. They think that they fell from their level, but actually it's only the fact that they are rising to the next step, to the next level, and they're facing a darkness that is separating from their old level to the next level. And between every floor to the next one, there is a, a space of, of darkness. And when they are falling, they're experiencing, like when they are experiencing the darkness, so they think to themselves that they're falling. But you should know, Rabbi Nachman is writing, that those are not fallings at all. And it's only the result of your effort that you put in your Avodat Hashem that you started and you're pushing and succeeding and making such wonderful things in the world that you're rising to the next level. But you need to go through a certain darkness. The darkness is confusing you to think that you fell from your level because now you feel you're in a dark place in your life. But 
if you won't back off because of those challenges so it will take you to a very high place to the next level and it 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 overwhelmed me to understand how powerful the evil inclination is like even to push me from from my understanding from from my my level and not to say that I'm in a high level but just to say that the purpose and the plan and and our mission is so clear to me that for me even like for a moment to doubt myself on what that we're doing is like it's 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 wild it means it means that the war was very very strong and the war was very very strong and it still is and those days are very holy days and very important days and those are days of preparation for the holy Rosh Hashanah and I'm calling you if you're not going to Uman or if you don't have like very important obligations or, or, or reasons not to come so come and join us and spend Rosh Hashanah with us we're inviting and calling you all to spend Rosh Hashanah with us and you will see wonders because this Rosh Hashanah will open many many doors for for all of us and the key of redemption is in our hands the key of redemption is really already been given to us and this is what it gives me the strength and the power and the ability to understand what we're going through in those hard days because really in the last few months we achieved so much like so 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 much so many projects